Hi, I'm Tim van Gil, and I'm going to explain to you how to play Take the Galaxy. We'll start setting up the game first. Take your space deck, and divide the space cards according to the sector they belong to. Then shuffle each deck separately. Stack the decks on top of each other as shown here. Your space deck is now ready to be explored. Now onto the player deck. Find all the cards marked with the red symbol and separate them from your deck. Find your starting system and place it next to your player deck. Note that your starting system starts with a pre-built frontier colony. Take a frontier colony from the cards you separated and place it next to your starting system. The other marked cards form your starting hand. You are now ready to play. Before player 1 starts, draw two cards from the space deck and place them in explored space. Draw another space card at the start of player 1's turn. Next, draw a card from your player deck. With nothing to reset, we're on to the action phase. This is when we can build colonies, like a mining operation. This costs two cards, which means you need to discard two cards from your hand. You can build a mining operation only on deposits, such as on the asteroid field. You can only build mining or utility colonies on the puzzles. Take the system you wish to colonize and place above your starting system. Then discard two cards from your hand in order to build the mining operation. Place the mining operation next to the asteroid field. We can now activate the frontier colony to generate manpower and use it to let the mining operation generate production, which you can use to draw another card. Good, we got the refinery. This can double our production. Let's build this one next turn, as we have some room for it on our starting system. Our turn is done, time for our opponent's turn. Our opponent starts his turn by drawing a card from the space deck. He shifts the other space deck cards to the right. Next is the draw phase, where he needs to draw a card from his player deck, and adds it to his hand. The reset phase is next, but there is nothing to reset at the moment. On to the action phase. As you might have noticed, there are two anomalies in explored space. An anomaly is a phenomena that your researchers would love to investigate. Anomalies require a set amount of science in order to be investigated. If you pay the required science cost, you will earn the renown points indicated. Since there are two anomalies in explored space, our opponent wants to focus on science. The Research Institute colony in its hand, however, requires two manpower to, in order to generate one science. His frontier colony only generates one manpower. The thriving colony in his hand generates two manpower, but is expensive. He'll also need a biosphere in order to build this colony. Luckily, there's unclaimed world with one. Biospheres allow you to build civilization or utility colonies on them. The world also has a utility slot on which you can only build utility colonies. There's another way to build your thriving colony that isn't so expensive, upgrading your frontier colony. In order to upgrade a colony to another, they must be of the same type. Also, the colony you wish to upgrade to must be worth more credits. If you meet both these requirements, you can upgrade as follows. Pay for the difference between both colony costs. In this case, discard three cards. Then place the colony on top of the colony you wish to upgrade, in this case the Frontier Colony. Now let's build that research institute. We have some space on our starting system. We can now generate two manpower with a thriving colony. And use it to generate one science with our research institute. Which we in turn can use to study the space whales at all. That was player two's turn, I'll do turn two. Like before, first draw a card from the space deck. Uh-oh, we've attracted the attention of some space pirates. Space pirates are an event, and like anomalies, these can be solved by paying the indicated resources. Events have a certain effect that are active whilst the event is in explored space. And like anomalies, if you pay the indicated resource cost, you earn renown points. We need to discard a card due to the active space pirates event. Next is a draw phase where we need to draw a card from the player deck. Then the reset phase, we can now reset our colonies. Next is the action phase, we can now build that refinery colony we have. This 
discard four cards from her hand and place our refinery on the last available utility slot on our starting system. We can activate our economic engine and generate two production. We now have a tactical choice to make. Our opponent is economically weaker than we are. This means the Space Pirates event hurts him more than us. However, solving the event is worth three renown points. You can also use the production to draw two new cards, which allows us to build higher cost colonies or colonize more worlds. There are many more strategies you can use. We will highlight some of these in our next gameplay video. Until then, and thanks for your support.